Hey guys, yep, taking the truck into the dealer first time, doing some warranty, doing that radio issue. Hasn't done it again, but I'm getting close to the 36,000 miles, so it's a good time to take in your vehicle and just at least they have it noted, right? And so I have an argument later, if need be. And so the radio issue, which I can't really show you, but there's a little piece of trim, so let's take a look. So right here, this trim, it's loose, you know, you're going to say push it down and it's going to stay, but it doesn't stay. I think the tabs broke on it. So they can replace that. That's not a big deal. Also, one other issue is my hill descent uh, locked me out. It just like, I wasn't even trying to use it and it just uh, came up with an error message and then totally deactivated it. But then I turned off the truck at a point, turned it back on and it was fine so don't know what that was about but i'll mention it again and then they can put that in my file so if down the road over 36,000 miles like say at 40,000 or 45 or whenever 50 it happens i can be like look it happened prior and that's what you want you want documentation so let's go to the dealer now so i just checked into phil long i'm waiting in line here there's a few cars i'm here a little earlier but that's fine they don't seem overly busy and my issues are pretty straightforward I know the radio they're gonna say they can't duplicate it same with the hill descent so it's just mainly you get that noted and then the uh, trim piece hopefully they don't just push it down and think that's gonna hold because obviously I've done that a thousand times I just don't need to even do it anymore and uh, yeah well, I guess I can roll in now <laughs> so I am home from Phil long now had a shuttle ride I didn't really feel that I should be videoing like there was other passengers and stuff and then there were, it, the dealer was really busy phil long ford north side of colorado springs yeah you know there were a lot of people there just to, I, I just couldn't bring myself to do any video in the place plus i would have to speak up being pretty large waiting area and i'm just like yeah i can't do that but so far man there's a lot of miscommunications there and uh We'll discuss that at the end, but I just thought I'd do a little update as I go along in this video. Uh, the shuttle ride, the guy was very nice. Uh, you know, he had two other passengers had to go south for them, and you get then I get to come north, and he's like, oh, well, you're having done. They're probably going to call in no time at all, you know. I'm like, yeah, I know. But I'll give you the full details later after I get the truck back and we see what they do. And maybe I'll even show you the contract and stuff because I should get a copy of that and just see. If you're moving to Colorado Springs, just to let you know the diagnostic fee is now $166. So basically you sign that and I'll give you an example. One time there was a squeaking noise in my uh, wife's Ford Edge and we couldn't figure it out. Took it to a dealer. They messed around with it like all day. Turned out it was a coat hanger on the back grab rail that was just just right that it would they didn't even get it. They were test running, they couldn't figure out looking everywhere. Where is this squeak? And you know, we had to pay a diagnostics fee. Now they gave us a deal on it because we all laughed about it, right? But they did have to charge me something. They charged like 50 bucks or something. They were they were pretty cool about it. I will say that. At that time they were pretty cool about it. But it's basically for something like that, like you take it in, even though you have warranty and it's something totally not the vehicle, you're going to pay possibly $166. That's what it is now. So if you have a Ford, that's what it is in Colorado Springs at the time of this video. So that, that's pretty expensive, really, for just a diagnostic, you know, for somebody probably most likely plugging in a computer or if you're out, outside of the warranty. So just, just a heads up on that. So a little update, it's the next day. They wanted to keep my truck to do the, replace the trim because the piece of trim they had to get from Denver and, and that's gonna be replaced. So that's a good thing. They did get the recall for the door shutting, door latch or whatever. I guess they got that done, but man. So they call, my phone didn't ring. So I got the voicemail and called the service lady back 
and talk about a lot of hoops you have to do. I'm like, yeah, so can I get the, I need a shuttle ride to pick up my vehicle. She's like, yeah, that's fine. You have to call the shuttle driver. Well, he did give me a card. I'm like, yeah, I have his card. So I have to call the shuttle driver. Like, she can't do that. Like, isn't this part of the whole thing? So, of course, I call the shuttle driver. He's probably driving. Uh, he's not at lunch because that should have already taken place. So while he's driving, obviously, he can't get the phone. So I have to now wait for the shuttle driver to call me back. And so hopefully, I don't know when he checks that. So hopefully he calls me back. So it's like this extra step in this unknown of, well, when do I get picked up to go get my vehicle? It's quite a hassle. It's a lot better at the Volvo dealer, and which is funny because my wife's Volvo cost as much as most Fords do. You know, <laughs> it's not like we paid a hundred thousand dollars or something or eighty thousand dollars. I think it was, I want to say retail price was like 45 to 50. Well, there's plenty of Fords, especially the trucks, that cost the same or more. So you would think the level of service would be on par with the, like Volvo, for example, on service. I mean, when you need to be picked up or whatever, the service person deals with that. You don't deal with that. That's not an extra step you have to go through. That's something they're like, oh, okay, let, let us uh, get them to come on up and get you. So one extra step I'm not too thrilled with. So now I'm waiting. We'll see if I get a call or I'll just have to keep randomly calling and hopefully he picks up. Wow. I'm going to insert a audio clip because I record my phone calls now. It's Miranda from the Long Ford. I'm actually just calling to let you know that your vehicle is all complete and ready for pickup. If you have any questions, give me a call back at 719-572-2294. Um, Again, that's 719-572-2294, but your vehicle is all ready for pickup. Thank you. Bye. Hello? Okay, it's Miranda from the Long Ford. How are you, sir? Good. So I just went back there to talk to my technician just to make sure that the recall was performed. He said that he actually had to order a latch on it, so we oh. weren't able to get it done. We were hoping it was going to come in in the morning, but it didn't come in. Okay. Yeah, so, um, I mean, everything else is taken care of that on it, just the recall wasn't, because I guess we ran out of the latches, so we had to order some. Okay, so <laughs> what am I... So what does that mean? You're not telling me anything here. So, am I getting my so vehicle back? Yeah, you can pick <laughs> oh, up your vehicle. Okay. Um, I mean, I put together as far as, like, you driving it, but I I said to you that we'd get the recalls on if you were able to leave it overnight. Okay. Um, typically, we keep those latches in stock, but we didn't have them. Okay. So, um, either we can keep the appointment that you originally had, or we can try to get you at an earlier appointment. Um, but that would be, like, our next step. But you are able to pick it up to drive it. Okay. Because, yeah, I called uh, Brian to get pickup, so. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah, I plan to pick it up. Okay, absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, bye. Can you believe that? I just get done off camera telling you how about the roundabout way. They call, tell me my vehicle's ready. And then she, for some reason, the service lady decides... To call me back. I, I pick up, I'm thinking it's the driver. I'm like, great, that was quick. I just complained about that. You know, who knows how long that would take. Well, it's the service lady or service advisor, whatever you want to call them. She goes, oh, I checked with the technician and we weren't able to perform that recall because the, the latch didn't come in. So why did you call me and tell me my vehicle was done? And then it's, it goes silent and it, because I'm like waiting for more, use your big girl words now. Use your words, people. You know, she she's like, I'm like, well, wh what am I gonna do? You know, so well, what's what are we doing? I mean, are they keeping a vehicle another day? What's the deal? And at this point, I just wanted to get it. I don't even care about the recall. I didn't have a problem with the latch. Wow, guys, I'm just really frustrated at Phil Long Ford. It's like, their service center sucks. Um, you call me, tell me my vehicle's right, but then call me back and say, 
after I called a Seabow shuttle to see, uh, to say, well, I checked with the service or the technician and the technician said he was unable to do the recall. Well, why do you call me and tell me my vehicle was ready? Does that make any sense to you guys? It doesn't make sense to me. And then she like, doesn't use her big girl words to complete sentences and thought processes. She doesn't, you know, convey to me, well, what the, what the next step is? Do I leave the vehicle? What options are, you know, stuff normal people would tell you. It's like, just out there, I, me as the customer have to be like, so what are we doing next? You know, I already called Brian. He's going to come and get me with the shuttle. Well, I hope. I mean, I'm waiting for a call back. And she's like, oh, well, you can either keep your next appointment or we can maybe get you in. It's like, but you said you were going to have it done. Personally, I don't care about the whole recall thing. I mean, I had no problem with the door latches latching. I have a feeling it was people not shutting their door all the way. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm at. Man. Phil Long Ford. I'm probably not going back there. I have an old story to tell. I'll do that in an old video. I thought enough time passed. Maybe they changed in their service department. I don't think they have. So, guys, follow along because we're going to cut to uh, me getting the vehicle here.